Good morning everyone and it's Julian. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Welcome to day 33 of me documenting my programming journey. Today is Sunday, March 27th at 6.01 a.m. and I only have about an hour and 15 minutes to do some coding today and hang out with you guys because I'm going on a hike with my uncle because he's visiting from out of town and we're gonna do some stuff. So I want to fix up my accountability and the app is called accountability, but it's an expense tracker. And I want to fix up this app that I've been working on to have a little bit of a better um, UI layout and everything, just make it look better in general. I have a couple things that I want to do. Let's check it out. So in this app, we have our expenses split up by personal and business categories. And right now, if you have a business expense, but you don't have any personal expenses or vice versa, you get a notification similar to this one. You have no personal expenses. And the main reason I want to fix this is because I don't really like the way it looks. I want it to be just text in here as opposed to being a list because it doesn't really make much sense for it to be a list when it's not a list item. And another thing is I want to add a date that these expenses were added to the expenses. So right now we have no expense and I want to take some time to put figure out how to put a date underneath that expense and still basically make everything look exactly the same. So let's give that a shot and see what happens. I said I wanted to do. Let's check them out. So the first thing I said I wanted to do was stop this from looking like this when I had no personal expenses like you saw before. Um, so now, or, or business expenses. So now what'll happen is if we have an expense here in personal, but we have no expenses in business, we will see you have no business expenses there instead of having a little list item that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because it's not actually part of the list, which I like a lot better. And just as we did before, if we have no expenses at all, that text get ch gets changed to tap the plus button to get started, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, the other thing I said I wanted to change was adding a date to our expenses. And as you probably saw already, I did that too. Uh, I did that by going into my data model here and having a date attribute and also um, going into our expense row view and adding an expense expense date because that was the new property that I gave to our core data helpers so that I didn't have to deal with no, no coalescing all over the place throughout the program. And it's working great. And so as you can see, today is March 27th, 2022. I just added that expense just now. And today is March 27th, 2022, which is perfect. It's working just as it should. And I love that because that will add a little bit more context to all the expenses in the app. Now let's talk about what I want to do next. I want to move all of this code into its own view because right now I'm keeping it within the expenses view and it, it's just a lot in this file and it's messy and it's got like eight levels of indentation and it's bothering me. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be a little bit complicated because that's going to mean that I'm going to basically make this expenses view model um, be the view model for whatever new view I make because this stuff in here references that view model. But I think it'll be worth it because it'll definitely clean up this view a lot and the resulting view that I'm going to make won't be as crazy as this one will be if I don't do this. So I think it's I think it's a worthy change to make. So I'm going to do it now. Let's check it out. reorganization done. Let's see what I did. So I haven't actually tested it yet to see if it works because I'm kind of in a rush and I gotta go. But the expenses view used to have all of this stuff in here. And well, it still does. I haven't moved it yet, like I said. But what I'm basically doing is moving all of that into this expenses list view. Took all that, put it in here. And then I also took the expenses view model, which isn't even going to exist anymore because it doesn't really have a purpose because everything I just put into here is now in the expenses list view model. And the reason for that is because all of the code that I moved references all of this stuff. And 
the only, and there's no code left in expenses view that, that does reference that stuff, I don't think anyway. So we are going to play it that way and see if I can't get everything to work out. I'm not really gonna battle with it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, but I think I can do it and I think it'll be worth it. So I'll probably pick this up tomorrow morning and see what I can get done. And then I'll probably update the app on the App Store because this is a better version of it and I wanna know what it's like to update an app. So let's get to that tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.